Hi lovelies, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thanks for visiting again. It's great to see you. Today I have got a haul for you and it's from somewhere new this time. I've been shopping at Love Drobe, which is a UK site. Uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try some of our stuff? And I also have bought some stuff from them myself at the same time. So I've got a little bit of feedback on fit, etc. for you. So first up, I got this tartan skirt. I love it. It's a really cute print. It's a, kind of a, a thicker fabric, so it's more suited for winter. And it also isn't so light that it's going to fly up. It's perfect for wearing over tights, over leggings, over stockings, any of those kinds of things. Um, and ideal for me to tuck a top in or if you wanted to wear a bodysuit, you could do that too. I really like the length of it. It is a great fit. It's just really comfortable. I mean, obviously the fit in the waist is kind of the, one of the most important parts of a circle skirt. And I really like this. I think the only thing that I would like to see added to it is pockets. Because, as you know, pockets are everything and should be on way more items than they actually are. Um, this is one of those pieces that I can totally pair with basically any top in my wardrobe. Long sh sleeve, short sleeve. I'm going to be able to wear it in summer. I can wear it in winter. I can wear it in any season. Um... And I can wear it with sneakers and dress it down or with something like brogues or boots and dress it up. So I'm a big fan of this. I got it in a size 26-28. The brand is Topsy Curvy. A little note about fit um, if you're looking at the Love Drib website. They don't really have or didn't when I ordered any details about fitting on the bottom half of your body. They have bust measurements. Um, but that's kind of it and it made it really hard to pick pieces for the bottom half of my body because I know that you know my hips and my bum are a bigger part of me so those are the bits that I usually struggle to get a good fit on um, so I tried to choose pieces that I knew would have stretch based on what the fabric was made of and I have given them the feedback that it would be really helpful if they could have full uh, body measurements um, available on the website for how they've sized their garments. So hopefully that is coming if it's not there already. So yeah, I got that in a 26, 28. Um, I love this colour, it's just so nice. There's something so great about wearing a bright pop of red in winter, especially because so much of my wardrobe is black and grey. Next up, unfortunately this was a bit of a fail for me so I've already put it back in the um, bag that it came from. Um, these leopard print trousers, they are a stretch fabric and I'll take them out because I want to show you how, how thin they are because that is kind of something you want to know about. Um, they are quite thin. They're like, I would say, t-shirt thickness, like a light t-shirt, but printed. Um, so they're slightly less see-through. They are a bit see-through. Um, I just found that these were not a flattering fit for me in the thigh because they fit more like leggings but at the ankle they were wide like palazzo pants um, which was not really the fit that I wanted to go for. I got these in a 24-26 and I think if they had been available in a 26-28 that might have been a better fit for me. Um, these are topsy curvy as well. I was really sad that these didn't fit because as you know I'm a big fan of leopard print um just just didn't work for me I am really a big fan of this print though um so I think this is one of those styles where maybe if you have a slimmer leg than I do because I know that some people say to me often that they are bigger in the hip and stomach but they've got quite small legs and they struggle to find things that fit I feel like these would probably be better suited to your shape than to, than they are to mine Next up was this black top. Now this was one of the pieces that they gifted to me um, and I chose it because while it's black, like mm, I would say probably 80% of my wardrobe, it also has some really cool details. So it's got the shirt section under the bust 
and also around the neck so it's fitted in those areas which is really great for someone like me who has a large bust and I just like that it makes it not right up which is really nice because sometimes it, if I'm wearing something high collared um, it, it just kind of creeps up which I don't really like which is one of the reasons I tend to avoid high collared things um, but I really do like the fit of this one and I really like that the sleeves are bell shaped because if you have watched my videos before you'll know that that is a style that I quite like um, I'm quite glad that it is in at the moment yeah I'm pretty stoked about that I got that one in a 26 and I'm usually a 24 to 26 um, but I would say I would say for these for the stuff at Love Drobe, maybe think about sizing up in lieu of the fact that there's not really a functional size chart. Um, hopefully they do get that fixed soon though. Um, and this, the brand for this one is Coco, which is one of Love Drobe's brands. Okay, so these dresses I got, I got two in different sizes. One is one that I bought and one is one that they've gifted to me. The one I bought was in the smaller size. Um, I just got it in my normal size unfortunately it isn't the best fit on me I just find it just the tiniest bit too small um, and where the elastic in the bust sits just doesn't sit quite under my bust it's kind of on the bottom of my bust um, which was that was a 24 26 um, otherwise I really really liked this because this is one another piece that I can wear with stockings or tights it's quite a thin fabric um, so just a heads up if you're thinking about wearing it as a warm item it's not definitely not something to wear to keep you warm you will have to layer with it um, but I think it is something that I will be able to wear all year round and it, they do come in a whole bunch of other colors so my theory is if you find something you really like and want to get it in more colors then it's great to be able to have that option available I chose the rust one though because it's a bit of an autumnal color um, this is another topsy curvy brand um, so the 2426 was just a little bit small on me and so I asked them to send me the 28 to 30 and I think that is a much better fit and also it is a little bit longer on me as well um, unfortunately when this arrived it had a hole under the sleeve I don't think it was a hole so much as it just wasn't sewn where it was supposed to have been so rather than send that back I think that's something that's an easy fix and I'll just bust out the sewing machine I say easy fix but I really don't know how to sew very well <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna fix that myself but just a heads up that that was something that should have been picked up by their quality control hang on I'll show you and, and it's quite a big hole um, so if they were a local retailer that's definitely something I would send back but um, it's actually not worth it for me to send it back to the UK so yeah a bit of a bummer I will have to fix that though because I really do like the dress and I actually would consider getting more of this in other colors if you know if I needed more dresses I probably don't know I do have quite a lot um, and the next one I can't actually show you what it looks like on me and I'm so gutted because I've done quite a bit of hunting for jumpsuits or rompers or you know that style of thing um, because I know it is summer in the northern hemisphere at the moment and I really really want to be able to wear those kinds of things when it's summer here um, but if I wait till our summer then it's always sold out anyway I picked up this jumpsuit I've seen it on other people and it looks freaking cool however none of those people obviously have as big a hips as I do and not having had the hip measurements on the website meant that I couldn't really make a judgment call on whether or not this would fit me so when I picked my size out for the jumpsuit I sized up it's a 26 28 because I know that I need a little bit of extra length in the body because I've got boobs belly and bum which all take up extra room and I know this is Basically I have to size up for anything that's like a one-piece bodysuit-esque jumpsuit 
anything in that arena. Um, so make sure I size up. Um, I did look at their size chart. The size chart for this garment only had uh, bust and waist measurements and I kind of you know I looked at that and thought okay it might be a little bit loose on me but that's fine. Um, however when it arrived I couldn't even get it on past my hips because the way you put this on is you climb in through the neck hole which is pretty typical for jumpsuits um, but this doesn't have a zip up back it just has one small button at the top and a small split now the measurements for the neck hole that you climb into are smaller than my hips um, and I think they were smaller than the waist measurements um, yeah, so I'm just having a look at the email that I sent to Lovejoy because I think this is really important feedback to give them. Um, I got the 2628. So the hole is 100 centimeters, but the measurements on the size chart for the size are 111 at 217 centimeters for the waist. And I'm going to presume that they would assume that your um, hips are bigger. So there's no fucking way that somebody who is the measurements that they've bought for will fit this garment. Like, I just do not understand how they expect that to work. So, I'm a bit annoyed. I would say that the 26 is probably more suitable for somebody who's a 20 to 22. Um, I will, I guess, on sale this one. I'm really gutted that this didn't fit because... The length is perfect. I like the lightweight fabric. I like the polka dot design and basically I was really looking forward to wearing this one. Um, so that was a fail from me. However, I would say all up my love drobe experience has been a win. I had a really good um, customer service from them when I complained about my garment. Um, and also I just really like what I picked out. I think that a lot of the pieces are on the cheaper side and the quality does reflect that but if you want something that's just a nice fun piece for summer or you don't have a big budget or you know that kind of thing then heck why not jump right in. So I paid for four items out of six. Um, two of them they sent to me which were one of the smock dresses, the orange ones, and the that black top. The ones I picked out were the red skater skirt, the smaller size red, orange dress, the leopard print trousers and the jumpsuit. Um, for the pieces I picked out that came to, let me just check, £90. Um, so things are about like £15 to £30 each depending on what you're picking out which is pretty reasonable. Um, I paid £12 in shipping, which again, pretty reasonable, pretty standard. Um, I guess that's kind of like the amount that I would be willing to pay in shipping. I'm not keen on companies that are going to charge me lots and lots in shipping because of the very small allowance that we have in New Zealand, which I complain about probably every time I make a haul video. Um, they include shipping in the total that they will charge you duties on so you know I don't want shipping to be a high cost because it drives that price right up um so I think that 102 pounds for four items is not so bad I think that works out to be like 25 each including shipping so that's not bad um it took oh like a little over a week to arrive maybe like a week and a day, 10 days, around there. It wasn't very long. I totally expected it to be longer um, because recently the things I've received from the UK have taken ages. Like I took, I got something recently that took three and a half weeks, I think. Um, so I was totally expecting this to take a really long time as well, but a little over a week I think is pretty good. Um, especially because it probably takes longer than that to send stuff across Auckland. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty happy with Love Drove. I'm actually going to keep an eye on what they have in stock and will definitely be buying from them again. Um, I'm really keen to get more winter items 
so looking forward to them having cool winter stuff um I don't know what else to tell you it's been so long since I made one of these videos that I forget all the things I need to say um, so if you've got any questions if there's something that I might have missed then please let me know I will leave links to everything down below um, check them out let me know what you think if you have shopped with them before I've seen so many people wearing that polka dot jumpsuit so jealous I'm just really sad that it didn't work for my body shape but you know what like not everything is going to work for every body shape and while I do have a body shape that works with most garments obviously this is not one of them um so unfortunate for me but fortunate for whoever ends up getting this jumpsuit because I'm going to go and pop it in our buy sell group and I know that one of the girls will snap that up quick smart if you made it this far, I am very proud of you because I feel like I have been rambling forever and I feel really out of practice doing this. Like I feel like I haven't posted a video for a really long time, which I haven't. Um, but, you know, hopefully I'm back. Maybe I'll talk about why I was gone later on. Maybe. On my blog or something. Until next time, let me know if you have any questions, let me know if there's anywhere else you would like me to shop, and I will see you next time. Bye lovelies!